Welcome back, baby. Day 15, bankroll challenge is about to go down. Guys, we're in a huge theater right now. We're at a bankroll peak. Uh, I'm gonna get into the graph in a second. We're at $138. Um, I've run a serious grind today. Here's the the uh, the graph for EV for the three dollar spin so far. So to show you my EV, in case you guys don't know how to do this yet, what you want to do is you take out your calculator. That's what it's going to be. You find a number up here. The yellow line is what you want to divide. So the yellow line is roughly it said 79. Uh, what was it? Sorry, 47. Depending on where you're going here, pain in the ass. We'll say 48, 48,000, and then you divide it by how many games you played. It says 600 and the old 69er. So then you divide that, and that's your EV. So it says my EV is at 71, which is a solid EV. As far as I know, as long as you're above 50, you're a winning player. Um, I'll show you what's going on just today. Today I've done um, a lot of tournaments already. That's what's helped the bankroll on a roller right here. I've already played 75 tournaments today, just the spinning goes. And uh, you know, we're, we're doing solid today. The green means we're running hot. Uh, I was running really bad at one point, right? My yellow line was way up there, uh, but I just kept grinding it out and going through it. And uh, now we're on the ups. So now we're at $138. Let's start rolling. It's been going good, going good. Oh, my Steelers about to start off their game. Okay, we got a two X to start it. I'm gonna be getting more than one game going here in a second. Pop another one right now. So two, 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 two X games to start it. Um, I still keep getting questions, like people don't understand how spinning goes work. So I'll just break it down real quick. Every game, it's the same amount of people, three people. For this, we all start with $3 and you play for a random prize pool. So if it's a 2X, that means the site made $3. They, they save some of that $3, they put it into a, a jackpot. And sometimes you play for games that are worth more. And uh, it's always, uh, if it's under 25X, uh, so 25 times you're buying, only first place gets paid. And if it's ever a bigger spin, um, then second and third can get paid as well. So right now it's winner takes all and they're just mini little tournaments you start the tournaments off with 25 big blinds and it's a hyper tournament so every couple of minutes the tournament uh the blinds get higher and higher so kind of got to play fast and uh, pick your spots is kind of the quick running down how spinning goes they sound easy but they uh definitely have a lot of variance they are beatable though you just gotta um i guess learn how to play them i'm gonna call here with pot odds here These numbers on the side, if you don't know, is a poker program called Poker Tracker 3. This is what you're seeing on the graph is. This this is not with poker stars, it's a separate hardware. I mean uh, sorry, software. Um, most people use a HUD to play nowadays. Ooh, Steeler game just started. Sorry, I gotta get a football bet in. jam with ace five you don't have to do that it's just him limping in there kind of an awkward spot with ace five so i decided to limp table one is on the left i didn't say that table two is on the right uh, i'm gonna call this guy he's short stack a six is definitely good enough to call him oh the fact that that guy called i think we're gonna call the top but that guy could have his speed here he could be trapping no we're ahead oh we're not ahead no more do we beat that guy we beat no one there so we lose the first one Here's that variance we we're talking about. Um, still, for the whole entire challenge, our biggest spin has been a 25x. So we're still waiting for our first big spin. Uh, haven't done the games because uh, if you don't know, we started with five dollars for the challenge. Started at the uh, 50. Is it 50 cents or 25 cents? Oh yeah, 25 cent games, and we waited to we're about 15 dollars before I moved up to the one. 
we played the ones until we were like at uh i don't even remember to be honest it's crazy how i don't even know already i don't know 30 or 40 no, maybe it was like 50 bucks i don't remember when we took our first shot and uh, we've had we've had ups and downs at all stakes um it's very swingy right now we're at the ultimate peak so i have the challenge so far so i haven't decided when we're gonna take our first shot at the sevens i was kind of thinking if we get to 207 um to take a shot but um i don't know uh, they're, they're they're definitely gonna be swingy and the players will be better up there so i want to have the bankroll but uh you know if we lose a game then we have a lot a lot of buy-ins for the for the three dollars so maybe that's that could be roughly what we'd be uh what we'll be looking at here is uh, when we get to 207 uh, or the one other thing i was actually going to do and you know what we can maybe even do it tonight um i told you for the challenge we're we're accumulating um I'm um, sorry. Uh, these chests here that we get coins with that turn it, you can turn them into money. So you could buy spin and go tickets, tournament tickets. Uh, you could buy items, but you can also turn it into cash. So you need a thousand of them to get to uh, $10 in your account. Can we hold? Oh, we get a river and table one there. So, so far we're getting some bad beats. Um, I'm going to label this guy a bit of a donkey here. I know he was shallow stack, but I don't think he was shallow enough to do that. Right? I'm gonna pot control that and check in a table one. I wanna get some bluffs here and see if I catch up a little bit. If we're beat, we're beat. We'll just call 10 queen beats us, the obviously the king beats us. That's a bad card, real bad card. I just don't know how we call it here. Hmm. Yeah, so anyways, we're, we're over like 800 for coins. We should look at our coins here. Um, where is it? We have 876. So I was almost kind of thinking we could just uh, even though we're sh like at our bank account, we're not ready for the seven dollars. I was almost thinking 700 coins gets us a free seven dollar ticket. And even if we get a two x, if we win it, it's a fourteen dollar swing for us. And uh, how I was almost thinking of doing it, it's all random what spins you get. But I do find if you play like ten games, uh, you know, you should be getting a four x in that amount of sample size, roughly. So I was thinking maybe. We play four or five games that we only get a 2x of maybe buying that ticket and taking a shot at it. Um, I don't know, or I could just put the $10 in our account, we get to a thousand and uh, go from there. But we get rivered again on table one. These rivers are uh, being rough to start off. Let's hold on table two. At least we hold on that one. So, once again, we're getting it in good in spots. Uh, Gotta wait for it to switch around. I've been running a, a lot of tournaments today, so I've had a lot of ups and downs just today alone. We got a spin over here. Got a 4x. I'm just gonna keep building the pot on table two. All right. If I didn't have the eight of spades, I wouldn't call here, but I do. And we got the king. Booyah. Um, you know, we're gonna be behind those spots, but a lot of times they could do it on a, on a draw. Um, if we obviously have a, if we don't have a spade though, that's a, that's a pretty bad call. Yeah, so we're going to get another chest soon. I don't know, maybe we'll do that. Like, like I said guys, for this challenge, if you guys have been paying attention, I know some of you guys from the starting. Um, most people that do a challenge have everything written down in stone and you probably should have a, a format and, and a plan. Uh, I haven't stuck to like hardcore bankroll strategy. I've just been 
confident in my game with lower stakes. I've kind of been feeling it out. Like obviously I wait to have enough buy-ins, um, at least 40 to 50 buy-ins for the next level. Um, I was really coaching someone. Uh, some people say it's way too conservative, but at the end of the day, you don't want to uh, be depositing money. So I would probably recommend, you know, like 100 buy-ins for, for each level, unless you have, you know, a lot of experience. But, um, you know, the, the 25 cent ones, maybe, maybe you don't need that. But if they're easy for you, then you'd be through them anyways. So it's good practice. Um, could have floated. I guess I could have called there open end. The hardest thing that's been with this challenge uh, already for myself and all my bank rollings and probably for all you guys is on the downswings to actually move down in stakes. It's very easy to, you know, if things are going right, just keep, you know, move up at a certain number and you get there and you're all happy. So if we got to 207, we took our first shot at the $7, it, that's easy. But it, it's hard when you're going on a downswing on the $3 and when you have to jump back down to the $1 and you jump back down to the 50 cents. Uh, myself, I struggle with it. Uh, easy to tell someone what to do and then you know doing it yourself to be hard um, it's very important it's guys who end up you know ruining their whole bankroll because uh just variance or they're running bad and then they start playing bad uh all the above you know, this guy is a donkey pick the, pick the scare card but his line didn't make sense <clears throat> speaking of lines that don't make sense guys I went to the casino last night. I only play live poker when it gets to like the fall or the, or the winter. And uh, last night I went to play uh, one, two, uh, no limit, just cash game. And I can't believe how bad the players are. Like it is, it is uh, overwhelming how bad they are. We won our uh, first one right here on table two. Um, if you're a cash player, you need, and if you're playing online, you need to go to your local casino and just you're gonna be such a winning player there like it, it's crazy i actually lost money yesterday i lost uh, i think it was like 65 dollars but i was down uh, i think the high point was three or four hundred i don't remember everything off the heart but um i know you're like just like well you said they're horrible well if i told you the hands what i got it in um i had a guy go all in uh, 150 bucks uh on the flop it was obvious I had an over pair. Anyways, he had an inside straight draw and, uh, and a pocket pair. And he's like, I got to call you, man. I have a pair. Anyways, the pairs, the pairs are really, really bad. So I lost like, uh, it was well over a $300 pot um, on a one, two table. So obviously at one, two, you buy in for $200 max. I'd always recommend buying into the max. Some people debate if you should or not, but I play every limit I play and I, I buy into the max. So uh, I, I sat down with 200 lost a hand on the starting from, from another bad beat and then I top, topped it up and then caught my way back but um, I, if you're playing zoom poker and you're a winning player even at the five cent level like literally if you, if you can beat the five cent game for poker stars I'm confident you can go to your local, local casino and beat the uh, one two games like the players are just so bad uh, I think we're ahead here yeah baby Staying, staying alive in the, in the forex. That's not a good start for my Steelers. In the first five minutes, they're losing 14 minutes. Okay, we're gonna put pressure on this guy, the donkey. He's gonna call so wide, he's a bad player. The only problem with me, I used to be a live uh, poker player <clears throat> way, way before my son, he's six years old, and even before my fiance. Um, it just takes a lot of time, man. The casino for me takes an hour and a half to two hours, depending on traffic, to get there. I had an hour waiting list, you know, so I'm two and a half hours, I haven't played a hand online playing cash. You know, if you run four tables, you play a thousand hands an hour on Zoom. And, uh, you know, I'm two, three hours waiting to even play a hand. And uh, when you do play hand, you only play uh, 20 hands an hour, like to 25 hands an hour. So, it, but 
you go there because the plays is so bad. And obviously higher limits if you're playing at even one two. Air to like 10 cent zoom. So I think I should be calling here, but this guy's been so so nitty. I'm gonna let that go, even though it's 14 pigs. I don't know. For him to three bet though is more scary. If he just would have jammed me, I would have called. But it didn't make sense for him to three bet me, so I'm pretty much pot committed like I'm gonna almost call everything. So I gave him probably too much respect but Alright, can we double up? Hold. Nice. So we're back in it. We'll lead out here. It's gonna hit our range a lot when he just doesn't raise pre flop. And obviously we got the back doors. I'm not gonna call, but uh I don't mind leading out there at all. So we want fold equity. We don't want to give him a free card and then a high card comes. Starting to pick up his aggression, I gotta give him that. Uh, I'm gonna continue this here. He could be chasing a club. I know we don't have any blockers, but that king could be a scare card for him. Could be a punt here. Ah, uh, wow, he got us. Just as we fought back, but. The guy was a super tight player to heads up, uh, really aggressive. Eight nine suited is a jam in that spot. Let's see if we get there. We're 47% there. We're not going to win it, but it is a proper jam. Okay, we're about to get another chest here. tell you, uh, when you're getting a proper bankroll though, the stress levels go away. So me losing that 4x, when you're just taking a shot at the next level and or you're in a downswing, losing those multipliers might make it really stress you out. But now that I'm starting to build up the bankroll, it's crazy how much less stressful it is. So, you know, if you find poker stressful, you're, you're probably playing over your limits and that you don't have enough. Even if you're playing, you know, Zoom poker or MTTs, if you have a hundred bucks and people who play like seven dollar tournaments and ten dollar tournaments like you're crazy like tournament poker most most people recommend at least a hundred buy-ins for tournament poker and uh a lot of pros depending on your stake level have more because they just don't they know the variance of it. it's going to take a while and also the stress of it um you definitely need a bankroll especially nowadays poker's got so much harder so some of the stats you heard you know five ten years ago some people still stick to that like you, you know the old school way 40 buy-ins and all this and they read the books yeah well poker was pretty shit back then a lot of players were bad so you, you didn't have as many variants as you, as you do now This guy could be limb trapping us by now. We're gonna keep jamming him on the table two. We're keep jamming him on the table so we got a standard flip on table one. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We are not gonna get there. I had a feeling we were. This is not the best spot on table two, but we're gonna have to call. Oh, we would have called. Yeah, we would have been behind. So it's one of those spots that you don't really want to call, but you're supposed to call. Good thing that guy called. He 
This guy might get sick and tired that we just keep jamming on the table too. He folded an ace. What an idiot for 10 big blinds. Okay, guys, when you see stuff like that, you got to mark it and uh, you got to abuse him. So him folding 10 big blinds with an ace in his hand, he's not, he's not an experienced player. I don't care if he had ace two, deuce, and someone who's been jamming on you that many times. Then now I know he has to have the good. So I could pick a spot here and jam wide. Like, look at this. That's a jam all day. He has to have it to call me. He's not gonna, so he does have it there. So the second I say it, but it doesn't matter. If he doesn't have that, you're gonna take his blinds like all day to Sunday. Like, he's only calling you with like the top two, you know, top two, 5% of his, of his range. And uh, the odds of you getting those heads up are slim to none. So unless he's getting, you know, ace 10 and above uh, or suited or, or high pocket pairs, a player like that is just not gonna call. We got a six X, we're gonna make it all back right here. We're running bad so far to start the, the video. We'll make it all back right here. These guys are gonna tighten up and we're gonna, we're gonna come to them. We'll bump it up with a race. In the small blind, you notice I like to go 2.5x um, just through my studying that I've done. The spinning goes, it seems to be uh, what I find that works for me. We're gonna open that up. Uh, I'm not gonna re raise that. That's definitely a good flop. Okay, but what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so I do want some fold equity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise this. Uh, I don't know how, many, how often it's gonna fold on the table. Table one, but there he goes. So we only had queen high, right? Obviously, it looks nice. At the end of the day, it's still just a flush draw. So we got his aces to fold there, stuff like that. There's no draws on table two, so I'm gonna do one C bet. Even though we totally missed, but they're not gonna call you unless they have a pair. Not too often these stakes they know what hand to float with. Did we take a bad beat in table one? I don't know what he called it. Nine jack suited. Oh, it was, it was a, we were a slight favorite spin. Okay, we've been really aggressive. We're gonna be self-aware in table two here. We've been raising every single hand. They're not gonna give us too much credit. We have an over pair. I almost could have just jammed here. We're gonna call him. Okay, let's hold, let's hold. We block his sixes. Oh my God. Oh, we got the street. Yeah! I was gonna cry the blues. I thought, the second I saw his four, I thought we lost, but we got the straight. That's one of those spots, poor, poor guy for that guy. You have a very aggressive player. Uh, you have a pair when a guy's been so aggressive, and, and at worst, they have open end. So, tough spot for him, but good spot for us. This guy here has been pretty tight, so we're just going to put pressure on him. How about we're hidden with our raises? Let's just keep bumping it. Okay, he's not giving us credit. That jack's a bit of a scare card. Oh, that bet doesn't really make sense. But I don't think he's bluffing. He's been hasn't had any aggression. See, this guy's playing a lot of games. Doesn't look like it. He checks, guys. He needs a nine or a four for a three. So if he checks it, oh, he doesn't. I was almost just gonna try to stab at it. So he's fought back two two boards. We just totally missed. I'm gonna check it. He didn't raise, so he probably doesn't have a raise, but an ace. But he hasn't raised once this whole and twelve hands hasn't raised once. So it doesn't really. Some people choose that. They choose to flat their entire range. So you can't pick them off the big hands or the, or their shit hands. They just want to see flops. And they just don't want to raise ever. They're hoping you know they can trap you. I don't agree with it, but uh, quite a bit, quite a bit of players do it. I know that poker you don't get many good hands, so why why let people uh, steal hands from you? you? You want to be able to raise to win a pot without having a showdown. So letting people get free cards uh, doesn't make sense. To me. Pretty bad flop for us. So knowing that we've checked to him like three times and he's bet every time, we're gonna try to obviously trap him too. If we hit, we don't have to see bet every time. Like this here, if I was in that spot what I just talked about, maybe it's one of those spots we would we'd bet at him. 
You know what? He's been really aggressive here. Uh, you know what? I want to jam though, because he only calls if he's beating us. Wow. He blocks 7 9. I'm gonna call him. Oh my gosh, we chopped it. How about we made the right call? Okay, so he's getting this. We were, on the turn, we were 86% favorite when we uh, jammed in there. That's the okay, I'm just gonna help her track it there. He's betting pot, we got a pair here. That's a good card for us. Check it, be afraid of that. I could almost lead out in that. Diamond inside now, we got a pair. Wow, I'm not gonna call now, but this guy's awfully aggressive. So if we have it, guys, when you know that, you, you wanna, when you flop, let him do the betting thing. So here, I can't check it though. You know I keep saying that? If he checks raises, we're just gonna have to jam. Okay, there's our ace. He does not have an ace. So we're gonna bet 150, protect our hand. Holy fuck, we're gonna call him. Ace Queenie hit the ace. Are you kidding me? Oh, that one hurt to lose to a bad player. His lines just did not make sense here. We're gonna open up a chest up before we open that. Man, we needed that one. It happens. His bluff didn't really make sense, so I guess like in the sense of like he wouldn't be bluffing there. But when you're just seeing a player just being overly aggressive. Here we go, we got another, we got a 4X though. One of these days, man, we're gonna get our first 10X, 30X, uh, sorry, uh, 25X. We got pocket ace to start the 4X. Go all in first hand like you always do. Do it, do it, do it. We got a limper, we're gonna bump it up. No three cards on our watch. Get it in, first hand. It's the cool thing to do. Jam it. There we go, we're gonna act like we have a tough decision. Let's open a chest while we freaking slow roll our races. 42 coins, we're getting up to a thousand. Jack five! Oh my gosh, the jack five's gonna kill us! Oh my god, guys, did that just happen? Go oh, fuck your mom. We had this dominated. The stats are gonna come up in a second. Stats pop up. And we lost, oh, we won a tournament over there. I didn't even care how we won it. Oh, that was so dirty. Well, the percentages here will pop up. Call in. How about this guy calls a re, like, oh my God, man. Like that was probably the worst play I've ever seen in a spin ago. Jack, oh shit, I did all this to watch the replay. We were 79% favorites to win that hand. Uh, we're gonna rain the pores. But we're gonna keep kicking on. We got, we unlock one more chest for the day. We're up to the new chest. I've got a lot of them today because I was at the lower one. So we're not having the best little session. But like I said, I've been grinding all day. When I started the day, um, I was over 100 today, um, but it's been very swingy. I've been down to like 90 something, as high as 126. 30 something, whatever the heck we were at. It's an 84 tournament, so it's been, uh, yeah, look, now it says we're down in the day. It's been, it's been uh, I don't really think that's fully updated there, but I think for the, the last game, but that, that 4X definitely hurt us, man. That would have helped. Jack, yeah, buy offsuit after re raising, re raising jams. <clears throat> And gets rewarded for it. All you can do is go on to the next one, baby. Tell yourself poker is not dead. There's still bad players out there. A lot of people think it's dead and everyone's good. When you see plays like that, it is not dead. King eight offsuit. See, guys, and uh, don't get rewarded again. Are you? Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about running bad, guys. This is uh. Someone wants us this bankroll challenge to last forever. This is the variance we talk of and why you need a bankroll. You can't control the outcome. We got another good spin though. Oh man, one time, get the jackpot. If you don't know, I've played well over 15,000 uh, games in the last year on spin and goes. Oh, let's try to let's raise this because this guy's sitting out. He's not here yet. Ah, okay, we're gonna steal this right here. That guy would have raised. Let's get crazy with our Forex. Are we gonna punt this? Are we gonna punt this? Yes, the aggression. 
after the last one, I was just going for it. So yeah, I've played my last 15,000 games plus, and I got I should actually look at everything. I, I was playing on Party Poker, now I'm playing on this. Anyways, we're over 15,000 games, and my biggest spin in those amount of times is a 25x. I've talked to some spin and go players in the community. Most people are shocked. Everyone thinks I should have had, uh, it's all random, but 100x by now, um, you know, a big spin. Um, but I have not, so I think we are due. I was hoping that having it in this challenge. You know, for me, it sucks. I was playing $20 spin and goes for maybe six months, uh, and I didn't get a big spin there. So it sucked to move down to these 25 cent games and get your big spin, but it is what it is. You can't control it kind of thing. Um, but I, I have had a, a big spin before, but it was before my last year of doing them. Um, and I didn't have Poker Tracker. I, I had Jabaro that doesn't keep your, your stats. I one time did get a big spin, uh, a $5 game for uh, 5,000, so a thousand X. And uh, I came second and I did lose it to a bad beat, I shit you not. Um, but you get 500 for second, 500 for third. But uh, that was a rough one to lose if you knew how I lost it. The guy, the guy who won was disconnected for like two minutes. The other guy was taking a sweet time, let, let him come back. He was down to like 200 chips to me, heads up. I got it all in, ace jack versus jack three. Jack three, he got it all in and I had his jack covered and uh, a three came. And then I lost another all in, like uh, king 10, king eight kind of thing like that. I was, anyways, I was, I was ahead in two spots, like dominating and I lost uh, two or three all-ins for this guy to come back uh heads up for an extra 4500 so it's not the money obviously sucks um you know what what's with this 20 here um, oh, i shouldn't have just called it how about i could have raised them i was talking too much my gut said to raise them and i pussied out because i didn't know what was going on in the hand the reason why i stopped because it didn't make sense why i was raising i knew he was weak but i'm like what am i even representing um so what I was going to say, the thing that sucks about losing a spin like that is when you know how the volume is. So at that point, I put in probably 10, an extra 10,000 uh, spins. And um, we're going to use this king as another scare card. He called that flop. Could have a flush draw. Boom, that king. Rep it. <clears throat> um, and then you know how hard it is to get these spins. So it's just stressful when you finally get one. And then, uh, uh, that spade sucks. We're going to call him now, but... Did not want to spade. I was slow playing my ace. Kind of thing he's betting on a draw. I guess we just call him. Queen two, we got another donkey in the house. Bad players definitely play some games. Rake is extremely high. When they came out, no one wanted to play them, said it was stupid for poker, stupid for, uh, you know, attracts all the bad players. But I want to start playing because I want to play bad players. People want to go to the nosebleeds and play the best players in the world. I want to play games that compete, and I want to play bad players, and they happen to play a lot of spin and goes. Um, yes, is the rake high? Yes, but if you think you can beat them, high rake for bad players. There's a reason why pros want to get into these professional games, and even though they're high rake, when the players are so bad, the pros will still pay high rake. Uh, for me, uh, the rake is high in spin and goes, like extremely high. Like if you were playing uh, without the multiplier, it's not beatable. Like you, you just wouldn't be able to beat it. Uh, if you didn't get these four X's and above. Um, but because you rely on those and because the players are so bad, um, they definitely are repeatable. There's people making some big, big money. Man. I'm not one of them. We're slowly grinding. Ooh, we do close this yet? But if you go down here, I was watching some earlier. A lot of times when I just like to eat, I like to watch these guys out. My poker tracker doesn't count their stats. But you come down here, man. Look at this. They're playing for $3,000 right now. Look, I'll have a couple of them blue. Yeah, because it's only the same people. Uh, I watch them and I try to guess what they have and find out a little bit, um, you know, but you see the same faces every night. If they weren't making money, they wouldn't last too long because that would add up very fast. That one guy just showed you, look at this, we're going to look at him. He plays like six games in a row at a time. Okay, we're going to jam with our team here out of position. Um, watch this, search player. Oh, that's something I wanted to look up, monkey business. Watch this, you gotta see how many games this guy's playing right now. Look at that. What a fucking boss. He's got two grand in buy-ins right there. Uh, and if you, you can you can look every 10 minutes. If there if there's people playing the $500, that guy's fucking playing. He's my hero. We heads up over there? No, not yet. 
See that? Not yet. Positive thinking. Got to think ahead. I'm not going to run bad the whole night. I'm going to win some. Another spade, eh? Against our donkey. But does this guy ever fold? He doesn't seem like he folds too often. So it's just crazy. He raises me. That does definitely suck. Ah. Uh -huh. We are heads up against one of the worst players on the Pokestars. Uh, but that Jack-5 offsuit guy for uh, the 4X, that was pretty bad. Huh? Um, I'm gonna jam my dudes this year. I know he's just offsuit slowing down here. This guy's so bad though. Any pair against him, he could have hit, but... Okay, we're climbing back in the 4X. We will call it all in on table one if he jams. It's actually three betting now. Pretty solid amount of time. I'm gonna check this on table one. I want him to uh, obviously not catch up and beat us, but that was a pretty dry board there. I don't mind him seeing some cards here. Sometimes it's gonna backfire, but it wasn't straight draws. You know, obviously that inside just hit, but all right, now I'm just gonna jam him. 6-5, that's what's up. Ride that donkey donkey. Look how just a couple games like, and we were at peak here, down to 314. Like, they add up quick when you're rifling off games and you go on a downswing. We can look at our yellow line. Like, I know we're playing some. We're, uh, is this today we gotta set it up? Watch our yellow line's gonna go up, our green line's gonna go down now. We're getting into some good spots. So look, when we started the video, we were running hot. Now we've lost a whole bunch of games from running bad. And losing that 6x and 4x, that would have changed our uh, whole session. We're gonna get there in table two. Oh yeah, that's a good flop. That's a better turn. Can't, we can't run bad at a whole night. We can't do it. Just so you know, that is a bad beat to the guy, but spots like that, you have to call. You have to know your ranges. He was short stacked. You, you, if you fold that hand, you're a losing player. Okay, this here, we are deep stacked. Um, okay, that's been aggressive though. There's three bags, zero, three bags, three eight hands. How many times do you have a chance? Probably a lot. Zero for four. I just think we're too deep stacked. I know the chart tells you to in that spot. This guy hasn't rebatted us. 40 hands. We just got a heads up. He does it now though. Now I'm shorter. I have to call him. Okay, sometimes we're gonna hit this board or table one, but I'm gonna overbet it. So we, we three bet him, we're gonna wrap uh, over pair. King four, don't do it to us. Nice. Okay, that queen jack's not bad for us. If he would've checked, he definitely would've tried to wrap that play. Yeah, we're looking to get it in almost any next hand. Right there, we are on table two. Calls with aces, he trapped us. Can we get a four? Can we get a four? We need a four and only a four. We cannot. So we're not doing good in the big spin so far. Here, it's just dead money at the 60, so we're gonna see if we can get this guy to get frisky. Queen 10, gets there again. Our all-in game is so soft.
wanted to get to 100 themes in one, uh, one day. Just putting in some volume. <clears throat> 87, we're gonna get there. I don't know if they'll all be on video. Um, but look at us, our yellow line's going higher and higher, and our green line is not. Pocket is table too. Don't do it to us again. Short side, give him a queen. All right, guys, time. We're on a down swing, but we're gonna fight back. Started at the peak of the bankroll. Got aggressive player coming up here in a second. What are we playing for? Another 2x. One time, give us 25x. Okay, this guy hasn't been raising that much. I'm gonna bow the ace too suited. I know it looks good, but what, what's he really doing that with? We're hoping what? King Jack, like I doubt it. So it's probably a pocket pair. Pocket pairs, you know, we're only getting an ace because we have a two kicker. So, sexy as it looks. Okay, against this aggressive player, don't call this all day. Ace queen, he has a good hand, but ooh, we got a jack. Can we hold? Okay, it's about time we do this one. Alright, pocket jack, we're gonna get an ace. The bad boots are gonna start rolling in. Give us an ace. We're not getting it there. Alright, I'm gonna wrap this uh oh guys all in on table. Huh, 60. I'm gonna call this guy. Alright. Ooh, it's a good flop. So we have to give her a couple bad beats now. But King Queen suited look, we're gonna be 42%. Uh, oh he had her queen blocked, but that's uh, definitely not a bad hand to win suited all in. <clears throat> A raise on our flush draw on table two. Got a three. Fourteen three. Jack's not the best card. Nine ten gets there. Club gets there now. Fuck. Queen seven, chop it up. That was like the best case scenario. We weren't gonna beat too many things there. Everything got there. And we had a pretty short clicker. I think this guy thinks we're pretty crazy in table two, so.
King nine is what you try to trap us with. Does not get there. Do we win both of them? No. Well, because the pocket king's there. So at least you get a win on her, right? No, I thought I don't mind looking at it like that. Yeah, I'm starting to see a big spin one of these days. While we're trying to rebuy into our little $3 game. How sick would it be? Like, we're re reloading and then we see like a million dollar spin. Okay, we got a 4x. Let's win one of these multipliers. We need it. We'll try a little C bag and bounce back in this game if we won. Very nice. Guys, I'm just making sure I'm recording. 45 minutes already? Holy shit, time flies when you're having fun. If that said 27 minutes, I would have believed it. Crazy. Well, two ways to look at the, the bankroll. For you guys, you guys didn't even see me over 100 since my last video. Um, we are over 100, and then now obviously we're on a downswing from, uh, we started jumping way over 100. Um, but it happens, it happens quick when you're right from these games. Oh, I should have keep bets in. Oh, now we have equity. I was just going to steal it on table two. But I don't think he's strong there. So if we bet hard there. I don't think he's calling. I think he calls ace high. Watch this. Ace high. 10 queen. Queen high. Hmm. Jack six. We don't have twelve eggs. I hate when it's not updated. I think we're supposed to jam in that spot. It's right at the bottom of our range there. This though, this guy is not limp trapping, I don't think. King six is a jam all day. Pretty bad run out when we hit a seven. I don't know why this guy bets so hard and slow down with ace. It wasn't adding up, but everything else got there. Get a check on table one. Oh, no, yeah, I thought this guy's gonna raise us. He's aggressive. Sevens. Aggressive players do get hands though. Five ball. The multipliers are kicking our ass. Okay, let's run one more for the video over. Forty-eight. <clears throat> So we're definitely gonna play the one more here. Okay, we got two acts. If this one finishes quick too, these will be our last two. I could trap guys, but we've been jamming so much. That I think he's gonna, you know, soon call us a little wider. We've gone all in every time for him. Wow, we've got a lot of aces though. We're not even bluffing, that's the sad part. He's had like fucking 15 aces on him. Do it again, do it again, do it again one time. Are you trapping? I doubt it. Wow, I guess we just keep jamming. It's crazy. This is the most aces ever. King eight, we got a call. Nine ten suit is another jam. All the aces, we're gonna do one of those spots we're supposed to jam. He's gonna call us, and all the times we have an aces, he's folded. See how these games friggin' work.
try one of these. He's so tight. Let's see if he. So not. It's not a great play. But against players like this, like, why just fold? Why fold my shit hands to him? I could do a min raise and then just jam my good ones. He's uh, like, look at this. If we can get away with doing this, so we called one, but we hit. So let's just jam it. You got a diamond, sir. Go have fun chasing it. He's so nitty. Like he has to hit. Might get a bad but cooler, he might finally have something, but look, we're just punishing by coming back into this. Just keep doing this. If it re-jams us, we'll just fold. Here it is, are we doing it here? Wow. Let's do it again. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's getting a little low though. Because now we're almost pot committed. Oh, he doesn't have base. We gotta re-raise this. Alright. Do it. Oh, look at this tight guy. This guy's been waiting all day. Look, like, he says, hold up one time. One time. Oh my god. There's that ace. If, they, if we were lost again with aces. Alright. Um, guys, we're running our very last one of the night right here. The video is going to be a longer one, but those who love it, love it a lot. Red's good to see. Get us a good spinning versus red. And it's 2x. Ooh, I put myself in a shitty spot here, guys, but we're too strong to fold here. Please probably 10 queen. Queen four. Poker is alive. I love it. <clears throat> How many tournaments are we up to now? 91. We are creeping up there. All right, we got a donkey re-raising. Donkeys do get good hands, but he's red for a reason, so I'm going to re-jam him. Okay, donkeys do get good hands, but I trust my little colors. So the funny thing is, I actually should have lucked. I've only played him nine hands. Oh, so that means he probably did something stupid his first hand. Like, fucking, maybe it was that Jack-5 dickhead. That blue eyes creepy. It's gonna haunt my dreams. Okay, we're heads up on table two. So in this game, software, we've been very, very tight. So we can change it, uh, maybe get some credit here and then uh, expose them for that. Oh, I wouldn't be mad if we got disconnected. We'll take a win with how we're running tonight. We just lose to a straight flush. I'm pretty sure we did. Oh yeah, the old straight flush. All right, last game of the night, guys. Apparently, we have no more music. Okay, guys, I just decided right here. The next video. We're going to buy a $7 spin and goes ticket. And I'm changing my plan what we're doing for the coins. And we will try to speed up the challenge. Obviously, we don't have the bank order to go to the sevens yet. But uh, why not? It's free coins. If we get lucky, we could speed the challenge right up. And if we lose, at the end of the day, it's just coins. Like, uh, I don't mind taking a chance like that. So whatever you want to do for your own challenges for, for the coins... Um, like I said, I, I unfortunately um, can't play in the tournaments on the weekends. I have all these friggin' free tickets over here to play in free rolls. And every week I just let them fucking expire. Um, I should be grinding in all these, but 
My schedule does not allow it. What are we at right now, anyways? Oh, apparently I was Googling something. We're at 111. This should be updated now, too. Ninety three games. The one thing I'll say it's hard about live poker that I find. Um, it's easier to stay disciplined when you play online, like especially cash, like Zoom poker, because you're getting so many hands that it really is, you can, obviously you can get a line, but it's easier to stay, play your solid poker. But live poker, because the players are so bad and you know they're going to lose money to someone else, uh, I do find myself playing more hands than I should and not raising the same amounts that I that I should. And uh, um, I doubt, but I also did some other plays that I don't do online because you don't get to see people. I was just definitely stealing spots uh, where it's just dead money. So many people call like pre-flop. They just, they don't even raise. They just limp in and then four callers. So by the time it got to me and I literally had shit hands, I just know if you go to like $25 when they've all called two, um, you know, you do that play a couple times and maybe someone will call you, but your first four or five times doing it, like they just don't have the balls. Like, uh, hmm. Uh, now we got a call. We put ourselves in a horrible spot here. We got a 9, 10, or an 8. We don't get there. Yeah. It was just such a good flop for us. Let's see what we are in the flop here. Even with these overcards, watch this. We're going to be like 45%, 41. It was just an amazing flop for us. Okay, we double up. Probably gonna be our longest video of the series so far. And yeah, we're right at that hour. Yeah, so next video, we'll, we'll, we'll take a shot. We'll do that $7 ticket. See if we get lucky. Okay, pocket sevens. Let's get let's let's close it off with a win. Do it. Do it. He's actually been pretty tight. His big three bet he had obviously ace king. I'm just raising guys. He's he's folding way too much heads up here. He's just folding way too much. We're going to do a little C bet here. It's not the best because of the spade draw too, but we're going to try one. There we go. He's just too tight. Look at him. He should be limping in so much more in those spots. Like he's just folding or raising. Like he's... Go ahead and waste a good hand, we don't mind. If he limps in here, ooh, we have to call this. I was gonna jam him if he limped. We'll check it. C bets 100% of the time, value C bet. Wish I 
got a king of diamonds there. Spades! Spade, 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 spade. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna check it. Get a little sneaky. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, we need a king or two. King or two, king or two, king or two. We do not get there. Once again, and I know it doesn't look the greatest, but if you look at a chart, those are the things you need to know. You're supposed to jam any any king under 10 big blinds is definitely a jam. Oh, I'm gonna slow play jacks here. Too strong just to jam. Booyah, so it could be a cooler, but definitely want to get it in with jacks. 70% favored, there's a jack. Okay, we're good, we double up. All right, I hope we can close it. Ooh. Okay, let's close it out. Oh, diamonds for a sweat. Hold. Nice. Okay, at least we win the last game. Hope you guys like the video. It's really, really long. We're back up to $117. I will see you guys.